This is an FFG Chronicles. I'm Paul Burry from Family Friendly Gaming. And this FFG Chronicles is going to be about the all-important topic of newer is not always better. And I'd like to thank you for uh, joining me today uh, with this video. And uh, if you have any comments, leave them below. Leave your thoughts below on this topic. Um, when you buy something brand new, you pay more money. You know, it's just kind of a misnomer, or a, you know, a misnomer, but you know, a, a kind of a fact that when you buy it used or uh, secondhand, or you buy it later, it's cheaper. In fact, I recently bought this game uh, brand new, but it was on clearance for ten dollars. And have they initially tried to sell it for forty, and then it dropped down to twenty, and then you know it got clearance by the store because it's not selling. So if you're patient, you can get it, you know much later but you spend less money so there's there's the price aspect so the first one is the price then there's also uh let's talk about the graphics yeah you, know, you hear a lot of the graphic hounds oh it's so good looking look at that game it's awesome um that can sometimes be a downside when it's bad content so if it's blood gore enticement to lust if it's if it's the bad stuff that families are like ew it, it is more realistic looking, so then it, it harms the game based on that better better looking graphics. So again, you go back to retro games, and they might have some blood, but it doesn't look as bad as the current ones, which are just like nauseating. Um, the other issue is features. I've been noticing as games are coming out on newer systems, they seem to drop the features. You know, uh, you can go back and and compare, let's say, old Madden games versus new Madden games, and notice a lot of features are missing. Missing uh, NHL, FIFA, I mean, EA is not the only one. Uh, 2K Sports as well. You can go back and look at some of their old ones and be like, wow, there's a lot more features back then, back in the day. Yeah, there were. So why exactly are they doing this? Well, they don't have enough time when they're doing yearly releases. Uh, the memory, they're focusing on the graphics and one new feature and they're not really paying attention to all the stuff they had in the past. In fact, it's always funny when, when I read the press releases from the companies that they are leaving things out and they don't tell you that. It isn't like, oh yeah, we've dropped all these, all these um, modes. It's always funny when, when I think uh, last year 2K, 2K Sports bragged about how they brought back the um, Olympic teams. Um, wait a minute. Where'd they go? You know, they don't, they're not out there broadcasting. Oh, by the way, we have removed the Olympic teams when they had all those years without them. They, they kept quiet about that. And so they're, they're not trying to draw attention to it. So that's one of the things that, you know, we like to do is say, hey, wait, you forgot that. Um, the other aspect is like, say you get a brand new system, you're gonna have less games on it. There's gonna be less um, things to play. Um, you know, less you can do on it because it takes a while for a system. I, I talked to a lot of people, they're like, yeah, I wait a year or two for a new system to see what comes out and what I'm interested in, and, and then they'll get into it. And usually, again, you get back to the price issue. So like I said, if you got comments, leave them below. I'd like to thank everyone watching. Have a wonderful day.